an unknown Chinese startup that disrupted the stock market versus one of the world's richest men. Which one of these companies will be able to create the better AI model? In today's video, we test it out. To compare the features, the output quality, and overall the intelligence of the AI models. So first off, this is DeepSeek, as most of you already know. And I've given it the same prompt, which is to write an in-depth, informative, human-sounding, engaging SEO-optimized article, blah, blah, blah. I told it to include list tables, external links to relevant high authoritative websites, be at least 2,000 words, include an engaging hook. And at the end of the article, write a title, made a description, and include four image prompts. And one will be a cover image. And also to visualize the data through HTML elements and include blog quotes and so on. So a pretty robust prompt that I've given it. And it's going to be interesting to see how much of these things it's able to follow. So on DeepSeek, I am using the DeepSeek R1 and the search feature. So both I'm using. So due to technical issues, the search service is temporarily unavailable. Okay, that's fine. So we get some HTML here of the actual article. And then we get the SEO optimized title and we get the image prompts. So let's actually go ahead and run this on Grok 3. I wanted to make sure DeepSeek was actually going to work and it did, which is good. So now let's go ahead and run this on Grok 3. And instead of using the think model, I'm using the deep research model um, because this is an article that is going to be more up to date. It's on Melanoma 2025 cutting edge research. So I want to get more up to date information and see which model is actually going to give me better outputs. So that's thinking while that's thinking, let's actually go ahead and copy this over. We're going to head over to Mark down to HTML. And then we are going to convert this content. Okay, so melanoma research 2025 in 2025 melanoma research isn't just about treating cancer it's about outsmarting it welcome to an error of science and survival converge that's from dr martinez melanoma the deadliest form of skin cancer has long been blah 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 from ai driven diagnostics to crispr based therapies why 2025 is a pivotal year for melanoma top five breakthroughs next gen CRISPR liquid biopsies. This is cool. I haven't had this before. A nice little box here. That's nice. I like that. And then four AI in diagnosis, combination therapies, visualizing the data. So we actually get a little chart here, which is not bad. The future of melanoma and a conclusion. It's less than 500 words, which is definitely not very long. In terms of readability, it has a score of, I think I just saw grade nine. I don't know where it went, but yeah, it has a score of grade nine which is not bad, yeah, grade nine. So that's pretty good, pretty readable. Now let's go ahead and look at what we got back from Grok 3. Just from scrolling through, it looks like we got a little bit of a larger article here. So key points, and then what is cutting edge research, where to learn more, and then we get a comprehensive analysis again. So that's interesting. I think it was summarizing the information and then it actually went ahead and wrote the full article again, hopefully include that information. It did include external links. In terms of the actual article, it's pretty decent. We get what is melanoma, why does research matter, cutting edge research, and we get some background information, we get some different technologies that are arising for this specific um, skin cancer. And we get some additional areas of research future directions, stat insights, inclusion, and we get some image prompts and we get the key citations. So this was the article from Grok3. I just want to make sure that these links actually work. Okay, so these are working. Let me test another one. So Institute. that's great. That's great that these links all work. And overall, the article isn't the longest, but it's pretty good, I would say. Um, so this page is not found from Deep seek. So right now, in my opinion, it looks like kind of like in the content that we're getting back from uh, from Grok over the content that we're getting back from Deep seek. It's a little bit harder to get content from Deep seek compared to Grok. So what I did was now, after I generated the content, the first draft, I then told it to expand this article to be fifteen hundred words, and I'll show you what the new article looks like. So can you expand it? And it actually gave me a really good article, The Cutting Edge. It has a really good hook that hits home. It talks about what melanoma is, game-changing research of 2025. We have block quotes. We have tables. We have our SEO optimized title. And our 
the description. So this seems to be a little bit longer and a little bit more of a complete article from Grok. So let's again, we're gonna convert this in terms of word count, 1200 words, not bad. Keep in mind that this is an up to date article. We have external links, we have tables, which is really good. And then we also got our SEO optimized title and we get our cover image prompt. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell it to actually create this image to see what the image quality is like on Grok. As you can see, it's gonna create that image right within that interface. So we don't have to switch between models or switch and use a different feature. We can create an image right within there. Okay, so I think, oh no, I didn't. So I tried to do the same thing on DeepSeek, but it keeps telling me the server is busy. So let's try it again. I remove the deep think and I remove search, but let's see if it's gonna work now. And that's the problem with DeepSeek. It's a little bit finicky again. Once you remove these two things, then as you can see, you're able to get a little bit longer, or, or it's more likely you'll be able to get content if you remove deep seek, you remove search. So here are the images that we get back. Okay, not bad by any means. I wanna test this a little bit more. So now let's go ahead and let's try to create the bar chart. Brock didn't create the actual image uh, because it can't generate charts like bar charts in this text-based format but it gave me a prompt in which we can use. So let's actually go ahead over to my tool, which is Image Rocket. You can use it at image.wordrocket.ai. And if you sign up today, I'll give you 15 free credits. And let's use the, well, you go to social media, we'll use the landscape mode. And then we're gonna use the second model, which is slower and gives us the best results. And then we're gonna generate the image. So let's see if we're actually able to get back a decent image. But overall, I'm happy with the content and I'm happy with the images that we get back from Grok. It's actually really good. Let's see if we can generate a normal image here. So this is a scientist. Go ahead and do that. We're gonna check, recheck. So this is now the expanded information that we get back from DeepSeek. So let's go ahead and convert this now. So again, melanoma research, why it's a pivotal year, top five breakthroughs. A conclusion again not very long that's the only problem i think this is probably around the same 500 word mark so not very long from deep seek but i do like that it was able to give us <coughs> a good amount of information let's double check the image so this is the image in which we get back from my tool again we see some imperfections here within the chart um that's going to be expected with any sort of ai but it did get some of the words correctly but we see that it is a little bit finicky. So that is something that we're working on. I've created a text with image um, generator and this actually works really, really well. If I go through my history, as you can see, we were able to generate some really high quality. These are thumbnails that I was testing out. But as you can see, this is really great because the images look well, text looks well. Um, it's very, very, um, very engaging. You can see here, you can create uh, Pinterest style pins. You can create reels the Pinterest style pin, which I created. So a lot of really cool images in which you can create using this tool. Again, if you want to try it out, just head over to image.wordrocket.ai and I'll give you 15 free credits. But here's the image of the scientist that we got back. This is solid. Um, this looks really, really good. I must say, I'm impressed. Great job, Elon. Um, this looks great. The text was great. The images are great. I think X um, has done a really good job with this model and I see it getting a lot better being one of the top models uh, in comparison to ChatGPT, Claude, and some of the other bigger. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope that you enjoyed this comparison. Let me know your thoughts below. I will see you in the next video. Take care.